This video is brought to you by Yellow Jacket. 66 years of expertise built into every tool. All right, guys, I'm doing just a checkup. The guy just rented out this apartment. So he wants the unit checked out. The blower wheel is pretty dirty. I'm gonna tell him about that. But right now, I wanna get under here. The evaporator is not horrible, but I do wanna put some of this no rinse spray on it, if I can. Well, guys, I'm afraid this old Schneider General has seen better days. That coil is just completely smashed. He's definitely going to be looking at a condenser swap out, at least. I mean, how many of you think that unit could handle 410A? Yeah, this this thing is bad. It uh, looks like an old Heil. This is definitely before it was ICP. It should say Snyder General on here somewhere. No, it does say Inner City. It's a two and a half ton machine. Should be a manufactured date on here somewhere. Show number looks like 95. Yeah, 1995 would be my guess. Yeah, right here. One of 95, January of 1995. All right, I was, I'm gonna pop the manifold on there, but the liquid line valve is gone. It's been eliminated. And that's what I really wanted to check was the head pressure. But I'm gonna go ahead and check the suction and I'll check uh, liquid line temperature. I can't check pressure. I just wanna see what she's doing. But this is more than likely gonna turn into a little change out. Not as bad as I thought, but to me that's still kinda of warm for a mild day. And right here, I mean, this thing's getting no airflow. I mean, the heat. It's just unbelievable. And it's like that all the way around. The guy just told me that the last tenants that were here would complain. They said when it'd get real hot outside, it wouldn't cool. And I believe it. been running about nine minutes this is not horrible 
Superheat's a little low. All right, guys, real quick on that system. I called him up on the phone and he came over. That's why I didn't get much more film. He saw the condition of it and he agreed that putting money into it, you know, I mean, there's really nothing, really nothing to do. I mean, I told him the only thing I could do is take a fin comb and, you know, I told him I would never get it back in perfect condition, but I could maybe relieve it, you know, a little. I could open up some of the coil with a fin comb. But I told him I'd have to sit there for God knows how long. And he said, no, he don't want to do that. It's a 25-year-old system. So we uh, took my measurements and all that, filled out a sheet for, for the manager to quote it out. So it, uh, it's going to get quoted out to a new system. It's the right thing to do with something like that. You know, I love to repair stuff. And where I work, you know, we're all about repair. We, we do a lot of repair work, but there's a time and a place to, there's a time when you have to say, okay, you know, it's, it's time. It's, it's time for a new one. You know, th there is that point. I'm, I've never been the kind of guy to push anybody um, into a new system, but there's a time when it's like, okay, yeah, you need to replace it. And this was one of those. It just, it's not worth it. You know, condenser fan motor has been changed. It's liquid, uh, liquid service valves been eliminated. It's, it's just, it's time, you know, there's, there's, there's just sometimes where it's, it's time and it's not worth it. Anyway, so that's what's happening with that one. Hope you enjoyed the video. Thank y'all for watching and we'll see y'all on the next one.